The Enlightened World, Poems to Awaken the Mind to Heavenly Truth by Teacher Wu Yun. This poem is called The Flow of Nature. The countless stars in the sky all live and move according to the flow of nature. Whether they are standing still in the emptiness or moving about, the stars are silent, absent of will. The sky allows them to maintain their place. The countless stars are the emptiness itself. Even the numerous galaxies are the emptiness itself. The emptiness creates and eliminates everything. The emptiness operates according to nature's flow. Yet it operates in and of itself, for it has no mind. If man had no mind, he would be able to live naturally according to nature's flow. But man does not know this logic. The only thoughts man has are nothing more than his plans and worries. Such thoughts are what confine him, but he does not know it. Rather, he is bound to his karma and habits. Nature's flow is of its own accord. Nature's flow is as it is. Every creation in the universe is of nature's flow. That is, everything except man's mind. It is only when man lives absent of his mind that he too could be of nature's flow. If you were to ask me why this is, I would tell you that to do as your body naturally does is the flow of nature. What this means is man is his body, and so if he were to become bound to a certain thought, he would be unable to see it in the right way. To see something the right way means to act accordingly. All creations exist, and yet they do not. Human life exists, and yet it does not. When man eliminates his life, his shape, his body is able to act of its own accord, according to nature's flow. But man lives ignorant of this logic. Listen, all of you. Do not worry about life and living well. Instead, try living absent of your mind. When you are absent of mind, your body will naturally be able to act according to truth and to nature's flow. Just as the planets have no purpose, will, or thought, but live by their own ability for self-existence, so can you. The ability for self-existence is not a thought of man's, it is greatness itself. The difference between acts that stem from man's thoughts and the ability for self-existence is that thoughts enslave man. They keep him bound, while the ability for self-existence is a thing that is of itself and is of nature's flow. The ability for self-existence has no hindrances, hang-ups, or conflicts. And so one's life would be smooth sailing. Even if we were to apply this to what people generally refer to as success, this would be a great success for sure. This is because human life is false and hollow, yet man lives creating it. He lives creating conflicts that are hindrances, which is why his life is indeed false and hollow. When one has no mind, he has no hindrances. Conflict is hindrance, and hindrance is conflict. Nature's flow is truth. To live according to this flow means to have no hindrances or conflicts. But man does not know this. Instead, he is forever deceived by the scheming minds of others. For when one puts up his defenses, 
others do the same.